Hey guys, what is going on and welcome to another video. Today is uh, kind of a sad video. No, it's definitely a sad video. I'm actually, I'm shocked right now. Um, I'm scrolling through the 8.4 patch notes. I knew this was coming. I was honestly just praying that Riot would revoke it or that I would just wake up from my dream. Um, they got rid of Tracker's Knife. Tracker's Knife is now gone. Um, let me go find this real quick. There it is. Tracker's Knife is almost mandatory in professional play. Keep that in mind. That is the key word there, professional play. Giving professional teams enough vision to avoid most early game danger. Bringing it in line would kill it in most games. So for now, we're simply removing it. Now, it says for now, that gives me a glimmer of hope that they're going to bring it back once they realize that it was stupid to get rid of it. Um, Lee Sin is one of the champions that benefits the most from having ward items um, outside of the support items, because they also got rid of Sightstone, which, you know, if they still had Sightstone in the game, I'd be okay with it. I would just go Red Smite, Sightstone. It would be all good, but Tracker's Knife was like just... It was a core mandatory item for Lee Sin if you really wanted to be viable in most games. And without being able to do that, um, Lee Sin is pretty much destroyed. And it's not just this that makes Lee Sin so bad right now. If we look back at the last couple of nerfs that he's had in the last year, we can see that he first got a nerf to his ultimate's damage. They removed his ease reveal mechanic. Um, and then they nerfed his base movement speed and the ultimate cooldown. Um, that was where it all started, and this is all for professional play. Keep in mind, Lee Sin was pretty balanced in solo queue, but when it came to professional play, he was just too good. That kind of balanced him out there, but nope, they want to take it one step further. And then this one isn't about Lee, it's, about, it's just about the item, but what they don't realize is Lee Sin is going to get destroyed from this, and... I really hope that they do something, whether it's buffing Lee Sin or bringing back some sort of vision item that can help Lee Sin at least be able to make plays with his ward hopping. Like, the way I see it now is you're either going to have to use your wards that you get from your trinket for playmaking and not ward at all, or you're going to have to ward like you used to for vision and you're not going to be able to ward hop at all. Or you're going to have to buy a bunch of control wards just so you can ward hop. Honestly, I don't know. All I know is this is a death sentence for Lee Sin's viability in solo queue. Very, very pissed off right now. Very sad, but... The way I see it, man, is if you can't play a champion just because they're not good, um, it's kind of similar to not rooting for your sports team when they're not good. You know, that's a Fairweather fan. You're a Fairweather Lee Sin player if you won't play him just because he's not good right now. If you can't handle Lee Sin at his worst, then you don't deserve him at his best. That's the way I see it. Um, so with that all being said, we're going to hop into a game, Diamond Solo Queue. Um, we're going to build Red Smite and then probably do a Blue Smite game. Just kind of see like which one I like better and just get a feel for the changes, man. It sucks, but we got to adapt. So let's do this. All right. Shen just roamed down toward mid, so I can't go that way or else I'll get fucked by both of them. Can't get away from me, dude. Get him, Fizz. Get him, Fizz. There's the first blood. Hey, laners that know what they're doing. I like it. Amumu's probably heading bot, I would say. Ooh, that was a nice play. He's dead, though. Ready? We're gonna have to use... Oh, wait. Um, yep. Oh, my. I'm fucked. I'm fucked! I'm gonna... Let's kill this Amumu in his jungle. I'm gonna go this way. You go that way. We'll pincer him. He's gonna come right here. Guaranteed. This is, this is a good play right here. As long as they don't have vision entering the jungle. Cass is actually... Yeah, Cass is still there. Um... Yeah, here he is. Fine with giving it to Fizz. Beautiful. Thank you, a laner that can listen to my call out. Don't you just love it? Oh, nice hook. And I just got level 6 from that. Give me the, give me the lantern. Uh-oh. Wait, holy fucking, that CC lasted eight hours, man. This is no boy now. Oh, nice. Okay, we're good, we're good. Couldn't get me the lantern. It's all good. I'm going to kill this guy. Okay. Okay. 
Oh, that's not what I wanted to do, bro. That's not what I wanted to do. All right, we got him at least. I at the last second, I was like, oh wait, if I kick flash him, he goes into my tower here. Let's just do that. And then it was too, it was too late. Cause I, I didn't make up my mind quick enough. This is such a blech game. Like they're, they're grouping really hardcore and we don't, we can't win team fights. So it's just a lot of disengaging this game. Oh, I'm out. Except I can't, I can't ward hop because of, uh, you know, Cassio. Cassiopeia's stupid fucking ability, but that was actually really good. I stole Baron. Fizz has got the split going on, so and we still killed Chen. That's beautiful. All right, all right. They want to siege. They want to siege bot. Looks like they're going. They're engaging. This guy's dead as fuck. Oh my god. Okay, I mean we went AP, so Shoot, he's gonna get melted. Oh. Their Ezreal is so weak. Thank God for that. There we go. Okay. Once again, not what I was going for, but I'll take it. Beautiful. That's gonna be the victory, I think. Dude, the Zaya's got balls. Dude, I respect her. Got him. The ultimate bait. Stopwatch Lee Sin. No no tracker's knife. First game. A victory. I guess uh guess I can't complain. But ugh, definitely I definitely don't like the feel of no tracker's knife. Even even though I got that W, man, that just felt weird. I don't like it. No sight stone, no tracker's knife, no bueno. Another thing to note as I'm getting into to game here is Zombie Ward was only so good when you had Tracker's Knife. I don't know if Zombie Ward is gonna be the best, gonna be the best item anymore. I'm not gonna be warding enough, so I think we're gonna go back to the eyeball collection. Let him tank. Beautiful, well coordinated. I don't know where Warwick is though, so let's back the fuck off. Go! What are you doing? Just, just attack him. That's it. That's all you had to do. That's all you had to do the whole time. Imagine that. Just had to turn on him. Wait, can I get this guy as well? Right. Can't go anywhere. There we go. Worth my flash. He can, he can dive because he can orange the Wukong ult. Wait for him. Fuck, why did I tank? He can help you. He's gonna get fucked before we can get there. Ah. What? All right. All right, brand damage is too strong. Oh, shit is going down right now. That blue smite. I had a feeling that was gonna happen. Oh my god. That Wukong R. I didn't think he was actually gonna go in. I wish I had a ward, that'd be great. Wouldn't that be great, man? That'd be great. Holy shit. This Rakan's a beast. 
Oh my god, he got fucking... He got triumph in the middle of my Q, so I didn't kill him. Wait for it. He's gonna die. Nice. Wait for it. I'm still pretty... I'm still pretty squishy. You gotta be careful here. Oh god. He's gonna kill me. Give me energy! Oh! Oh, Baron killed me. But Gangplank just fucking popped off. All right. Jesus Christ. Oh, wow. That actually melted him. I think Gangplank hit him with a barrel. There's no way I did all that damage. Wait, I can kill this guy. Kill this guy. Nice. Took me a few extra. It took me a few extra punches, but we got him. We got him. Oh my god. This gangplank. I thought he was gonna land a nasty barrel there. Oh, I missed. can't kill this guy. I have no MR. I'm just gonna help my team. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. We gotta walk out together here. I think they actually win. I have no ult. Oh, wait, I have ult in four seconds. Got him. Let's go, man. He knew it. He knew it was coming. He sidestepped it. I'm gonna steal this. Oh my god, that would've been clean as fuck. Alright. Well, we at least got the Infernal Drake there. Alright. We gotta use... We gotta fight now, now that GP's like... Pretty much as strong as he's gonna get. Uh oh. Uh oh. I have GA up so I can make a play here. Dude. <laughs> I got him! <laughs> what? Oh, two games in a row, no tractor's knife. We got victories. Hey man. I don't know. I don't know. That makes me that makes me optimistic. That being said, too small of a sample size to really say anything. I'm really gonna fucking miss Tracker's Knife. I really I, I sincerely hope that they they'd revert that, they bring it back, but chances are that they're not going to. I don't see why they'd make such a drastic change if they weren't confident about it, so Anyways, guys, my final thoughts about the whole tracker's knife getting removed. It's it's unfortunate for us Lee Sin players, but, I mean, we just have to adapt. Like I said, we just got to find a way to keep playing him. I, I'm not going to stop playing Lee just because they got rid of an item, man. Like, that, that's crazy. But I'm sick of, I am sick of Lee getting kind of just thrown under the bus constantly. I think it, I think so many people hated him and thought he was broken for so long that he's just, they, they're never ever going to buff him anymore. They gave him like a buff to his W a while back. They gave him like 10 extra shield power. Like, that's not a buff. That's 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 nothing. That's, that's hardly anything. We either need like a real, actual, impactful buff, or we need items with wards on them. That's the only way Lee is going to be a top tier jungler again. That being said, I still have to experiment a lot more before I can really say how badly this is going to impact him. I think that the build that I did yesterday that Celiberry does, I think that's another option you could go. Um, it hurts. This one stings, man. This one stings. It's It stings beyond just the fact that it hurts Lee. It hurts my ability to make cool plays and deliver fun content for you because I can no longer ward hop. I literally have to build a support item or build control wards if I want to ward hop so it's gonna suck but I don't want to cry about it too much because it's just what's the point it's not gonna get anything done so just just make the most of what we've got here so between the two blue and red smite 
I actually preferred Blue Smite. I think Red Smite makes more sense in a lot of situ in a lot of matchups, but Blue Smite, I just felt like I got more use out of it. So probably gonna go Blue Smite if I do take the jungle item at all. But but that is where I'm gonna end today's video. Thank you guys so much for stopping by my channel and watching my video. Catch me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Heisman underscore LOL. I stream every night from 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. Eastern time, Sunday through Thursday. Um, but that's where I'm going to end today's video. I'll see you guys later. Peace.